Law Warrior Armor, Athena Combat Vehicle. Overview. Another example of Clan Hell's Horse's un-clan-like infatuation with conventional forces is the unconventional Athena Combat Vehicle. Like the Epona, which uses modular technology to obtain its battlefield edge, the Athena also claims a distinction that the clans normally reserve for their battle mechs, the Advanced Targeting Computer System. Able to deliver massive destructive potential at long range with uncommon accuracy, the Athena can threaten even the heaviest battle mechs. Capabilities The Athena is a sniper tank capable of delivering serious damage to hostile units while lying beyond the range of most return fire. It carries twin Gauss rifles fixed in the forward compartment for stability and backed up by a 10-rack LRM launcher. With this firepower, the Athena possesses the potential to cripple a light or medium mech with a single well-placed volley. In an effort to make such a shot possible, the horses took the extraordinary step of equipping the Athena with a sophisticated targeting computer system. This system is exactly like those carried by some of the most deadly clan mechs. The targeting computer aids in bringing the Athena's main guns to bear on enemy units and even allows more experienced crews to place their slugs where the damage can be most effective. While this emphasis on offensive capabilities suits the Athena for joining heavy forces and assault operations, its defences are achingly limited. It possesses only enough speed and manoeuvrability to keep pace with the heaviest and slowest elements in today's armies, and its armour protection is significantly weaker than that carried by Inosphere vehicles of the same mass. In what appears to be a half-hearted attempt to mitigate the flaws without sacrificing the primary weapons array and the targeting computer requirements, the Athena's designers added smaller, shorter-range weapons and a semi-independent turret assembly. A secondary defensive gunner mans the turret, which carries two medium lasers with computer-enhanced targeting and a pair of machine guns for a defense-in-close-quarters combat scenario. Despite the importance of this system, the defensive gunner usually is the lowest-ranked warrior in the crew, as the Athena's primary role tends to keep his contributions to a minimum. Despite the defensive drawbacks of the Athena, Hell's Horses have made successful use of this design for more than 50 years. In the last battle for Niles Industriplex Alpha against Ghost Bear, a trinary of Athenas, freshly manufactured and attached to Alpha Galaxy, helped to turn the bear's advance by crippling near two full battle mech binaries. Deployment. Athenas appear in the heavy and assault vehicle stars of almost every frontline cluster of Hell's Horses. Deemed too valuable by the horse's command to risk their loss, these potent vehicles are rarely deployed without some form of battle mech or elemental support. Oh yeah, I mean, they, they do start to get a bit weirder and weirder as they go on, don't they? Mass is 75 ton, its movement is tracked, its power plant is a Fusion 225, giving it a cruise speed of 32 and a flank speed of 54 kph. The armour is Compact Vehicle 30 Ferrofibrous. The armament is two Series 2H extended range medium lasers with two Type AA4 Gauss rifles, two Type AP40 machine guns and a single Type XA LRM10. It's manufactured by Niles Industriplex Alpha. Communications is the Build 1690-2 Tacticom and its targeting and tracking is provided by the consolidated Type 7 TTC with Mark V Series targeting enhancement computer. But what does this all translate as? Well, stats-wise it's 3 and 5 obviously, with only 10 heat sinks needed, which also isn't a surprise. Uh, it has 144 armor factor, which actually translates to 38 armor on the front, 26 on the big old gun nipples on the sides, 24 on the rear, and 30 on the turret. The ER medium lasers are located in this turret, along with the two machine guns that you can see at the top there above the two. Uh, it has 100 rounds for the machine guns, naturally. Two Gauss rifles, both lo both located in the front of the vehicle with 32 shots, so that was like 16 each, not too bad. The LRM-10 is also located in the front, you can see, and at least it's an angled launcher, so it would have a better chance of not clipping any terrain, with 12 rounds of fire, and the targeting computer located in the body of the vehicle. It... <laughs> It's it's ugly. There's no getting around it. This is this is definitely a tank that is going to cause problems for a lot of people. Uh, just just to get over the mental hump of yeah, it's powerful, but look at it. Uh, the art's also a bit strange. I, I'm not sure if if the suggestion here is that the turret on the top is um, maybe on a, some kind of ball and socket joint that allows it to kind of lean a bit left and right because it looks like it's leaning toward you, the viewer and then angling to the right to fire. 
Uh, I also don't know if the two Gauss rifle arrays can pivot up and down a bit. I assume they can. Uh, maybe the bit at the back sort of lifts up. Uh, as you can sort of see there where it says double O, that might be possible for them to kind of angle up and down just to change the uh, the angle of the shot. Uh, not the best view for the driver, I suppose. I mean, he is pretty much blind left and right, but that's probably not too big a deal. I assume Commander's probably got some kind of sight in the turret so they get a better view of what's around them. Plus, if they're so far back out you know, in-universe, uh, I guess they've got less issue to worry about with being flanked or attacked. But it's uh, functionally, it, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, I don't hate it it's not my first choice but it's it's unique again it goes to the previous discussion of the Ishtar it stands out it's a unique vehicle and you're all the second it, it's on the table you know instantly oh that's an Athena so it nails that particular part of the brief it's got to be distinct um and it, it is friggin' deadly I mean it's it's a 30 point alpha just from the Gauss rifles alone, and it's got plenty of ammo to stay on the table for multiple shots. Each one is going to be a sphincter tightening uh, die roll every time you fire both of them things. Uh, and yeah, the LRM10 is just it's just a little bit of a you know a little bit of salt to rub in the wound if you do end up scoring a couple of hits and then you drop some missiles on the target. Uh, whoever you target with it is definitely going to be in a lot of trouble. Let's put it that way. It's a dicey one. I would. I'd be really worried about putting a vehicle like this on the table uh, in a scenario that I would run uh, because it, it's so friggin' deadly. You'd have to rely on the players actually paying attention to all of their position, pre-planning their moves, working it out because, yeah, that thing could... That's a player killer. That is just an outright player killer. Obviously, in a more war game scenario focused, it's less of an issue if you are going to sacrifice a unit to take the hit so you can get other stuff close to it to knock it out in return. Um, but, yeah, as uh, if I was going to have this thing on the field, I, I, oof, I'd i be worried about player characters getting blown away by that thing because it's it's very deadly. But, uh, yeah, that's the that's the Athena. Uh, it's it's a, a weird-looking spud. And although it says the armor's a bit shit, it, it, all right, comparatively, it's roughly the same armor amount as the Ishtar, which is a significantly lighter vehicle at um, 65 ton, 10 tons lighter. It can still take a few hits, more than enough for it to be able to back off and, and leave the field, because you're not going to have this thing like right in the middle of the map. This thing is going to be skirting an edge, ready to leave as soon as things get a bit dangerous for it. So, But yeah, uh, not too bad, not too bad. So uh, thanks again, as always, everyone joining, and um, I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.